this is like the new trendy high school web series you can ever dream of watching guys go right now check savalo comedy and watch right away so guys we're going to be doing a review on this so in case you've not been following this web series just go right now and follow it so that you can have something to comment on the section below now um we're gonna talk about mikey and what peter foresaw about mikey i think what just played out now is like um what would, what would happen i think what just played out now is like what would happen in the nearest future that peter the guy that held mickey's hand is kind of he has powers and he kind of foresees what happens next or would i say probably in the next two days in the next one month in the next one year depending on depending how long it would last so i feel like he foresaw what would happen to mikey and i wonder who would do that to mikey guys comment on the section below and drop it down like who do you think would actually want to harm mikey because obviously he's not in a very good um state and you see what what just happened i think it can either be it can either be ella i feel it might be ella or maybe someone else yes because we all know that um he went on a date with ella and i think ella likes him but he doesn't know how to he doesn't really like ella back something like that so probably when he starts hanging out with um the new girl that knows how to sing and knows how to rap and all those things then um ella might actually feel jealous a bit and then want to harm mikey or something like that nobody knows for sure so um let's review the next thing guys all right guys what do you think about annie i feel like annie is just one selfish and self-centered human being because she said that nobody's off limits you know they are cartel they are this kind of um the people that are actually ruling the school because they have powers and all of them came together as sisters something like that but she said that nobody's off limits which simply means that they can actually harm anybody that comes their way you understand but she's always protecting peter because she likes peter but when one of them actually asked her not to harm the copper man so one of them actually asked her not to harm the copper guy but then she refused and she was like ah she must do this one she must cast a spell on him and all those things so that's being selfish also another of her sister who has a sister i don't know if they are twin or something but they are sisters actually so one of them likes peter but she told one of her cartel to tell her sister to stay off peter you understand that kind of thing as far as peter is only hers so she's just i just feel like she's very very self-centered that's the only word i can use to describe her selfish and she wants she just wants to get whatever she lays her hand on she thinks and feels like nobody nobody is um nobody is supposed to get what she has you get that kind of thing so annie i feel like that their cartel is going to um dismiss very very soon they are going to start having issues and i kind of pity joan yes that's for this next thing i kind of pity this joan a whole lot because she's kind of incurring a lot of enemies and if we all know the story of joan of arc um it kind of looks like it you know this joan girl is the kind of girl that um wants to protect everybody with her powers something like that she's not into harming others with her powers and all those things so she wants to protect everybody and in the course of protecting everybody like everybody that is within her reach she's now incurring enemies to herself so just look at what happened between her and um annie's cartel annie's gang because the guy you know annie is coming out for election or something so you know annie is aspiring to be the head girl or something like that instead of her to play it free and fair she's now um she wants to cast in fact she casted a spell on one of the guys just to follow her around and be like vote for annie vote for annie that kind of thing that's actually bad 
the election should have been free and fair that's what it is but she casted a spell on one of the guys to be like her, her publicist or something like that just to follow her around and ask people to vote for her that's pretty bad and then when annie found out and you sorry when um joanne found out joanne um met annie and was like why are you doing this to this guy you understand and the, but the two of them went into clash bam something like that so i feel like at this point now annie will be targeting joanne you understand she would be targeting the guy so so much and she would be targeting joanne so so much and if if joanne actually does anything or maybe gets into her trap she would just hurt her you know joanne also has power so it was kind of difficult for her to just hurt her immediately anyways let's keep our fingers crossed and see what happens in the next episode as well so like um mikey's mother is so cool look at the way um she's just like asking him do you like ella how was the date um, uh, so i know if you happen for africa or, or nigeria though it depends uh, most um most parents do that but i think that's kind of cool for me to witness that kind of thing but let me just say that's kind of cool for mikey's mother to actually ask after her son's date and all that so what do you think about the two sisters the one that was you know um she was actually one of one of annie's cartel she was actually telling her sister to stay off peter and there was this flashback that happened in her memory when her mother or her auntie i don't know who that woman is anyways was actually telling her to not to harm her sister you get that kind of thing so the two things would happen it's either she chooses annie's annie's um whatever over her own sister it's either she harms her sister and follows annie or she fights annie and save her sister so these are the two things we are looking forward to if i were her i would definitely fight that annie because annie is just very very self-centered selfish and guys what got the way annie just eh, 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 embarrassed that um copper or something like that and you know that it, it happens even in these days when uh, you see coppers in secondary school most of these secondary school boys and girls they don't even respect coppers at all though it was then that you would see um people respecting copper like people from these um rural areas respecting copper like um, or they have seen jesus or they have seen god or actually acknowledging the fact that these people are my teachers they even love coppers more but in the world today if you're a copper and especially if you're not small size hey god you all don't finish with that though that's the way they will just um disrespect you when you stand to teach everybody will just be looking at you like you don't even know but if you stand your ground anyways they can still you understand respect you but in this case of annie now talking about high school magical in this case of annie annie is so disrespectful the way she just embarrassed that copper and now she wants to do something to copper to the copper you understand i feel like that girl that girl should be dealt with she should be taught a very 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 big lesson that she will never even forget in her life and i can't wait i feel like in in the subsequent episodes you see joanne you see um the girl that liked the copper and the girl that had that has a sister i feel like they would they they, they the four of them would come together to actually um deal with annie because you know annie's power is also strong now there is another important part to review you see this one now hmm. this particular scene you're looking at right now guys um i feel like this woman is actually going to be super mad when she finds out that there is another seer you know peter is is a seer but he doesn't really know that he's a seer though joan has told him that he is a seer but i feel like he doesn't know the level of um he doesn't know how great his power is do you understand so he's still trying to process the whole thing and understand the whole thing and know how to go about the whole thing you get 
so i feel like his power is so great and if they actually find out that there's someone that has this kind of powers then they would take him to be the seer so if you can realize now because i'm showing the clip right now that um joan asked her grandmother about the powers peter has and her grandmother was like that should be the power of a seer and i wonder who her grandmother is actually calling to confirm if the old seer is dead or something like that but another thing if the old seer is still alive then why do they have another seer nobody knows i think it's going to be revealed in the next episode or something like that guys so um i just feel like peter doesn't know his powers yet and i'm very sure that annie must have realized peter's powers. that's why she's trying to make peter has trying to like own peter but i'm very happy that peter has sense at least he can't he will never want to have anything to do with someone like Annie because Annie is so wicked and so self-centered oh <sighs> all right guys moving on to this next thing Harry, since have you seen a maid i've been looking for him and i can't find him sorry Or more see the way Joan ran for her dear life like that girl ah well look at the way she just looked at Joan like it's Joan's fault that the the person she likes is actually coming for for her but I feel like that guy I feel like this guy now is is a flirt he doesn't really know what he wants because some minutes back he was just with this girl and then the other time he's already coming to the girl to tell the girl to help him buckle up his shirt that he has a girl he's going after you get or i would just say that he doesn't know that this girl actually likes him like that i don't know what to say about it to go the way joan was just playing with that guy i don't understand if joan is also interested in the guy or something but Like guys, secondary school girls these days, like why would a secondary school, school girl be going after her own teacher the way this girl is actually going after his teacher? Like this is so, so uncalled for. And I don't even know what to say about this whole thing because this whole thing is just, it's just so funny and so creepy at the same time. And the way she's even going about this whole thing, these people, they have moral though. Anyways, I would say because they have powers and the way the guy answered that call, it was looking like he was talking to his girlfriend, get until he mentioned that he was talking to his mom. Now my question now is, why would she want to harm him just because he has a girlfriend? Does it even make sense? It does not even make sense. You know all these witches and wizards and they have all these kind of powers. They used to feel like they rule the world. They feel like the world is theirs. They feel like they can get whatever they want. And I'm so glad that the copper guy is a is all this kind of um very um very responsible kind of guy, you understand? So he doesn't want to have anything to do with that secondary school girl get. And guys, did you actually watch the scene of um the scene of uh what's this guy's name? james brown guys did you did you actually watch the scene of james brown this scene is so so interesting and so funny very very funny the way james brown was just talking guys it was it was just as if uh, i don't know i don't know what to say but guys that scene i laughed all through although guys you need to go back and watch that scene. that scene is just so funny everybody I, guy, I don't even want to mimic him because i can't even do that and it, it was looking so funny you just need to watch the episode five of this high school magical so this is kind of like the trendy web series on youtube now that everybody is rushing to go watch you understand 
and i feel like it's kind of very interesting to i'm um, encouraging you all to also follow the series so that we can have something to talk about here of course i'll be doing more of movie reviews here i would also be doing my vlogs anyways but so that is just that um or more these people know they fear at all though. like look at the way they just followed Annie and and her cartel down to where they're having their olumbo lumba meeting <laughs> Child, i don't even know what to call that meeting they were initiating orders guys this is so creepy and i watched this movie at night i felt like i was so scared i was like jesus christ is this what these people have been watching since guys i if you want to watch high school um high school magic don't watch it at night you cannot stand it don't just watch it watch it at night because guys some parts are actually somehow you understand annie was actually initiating these girls with blood guys Omo, i don't even know what to say about it though they had to like open their hands with knife put some blood ah Omo, this one is blood initiation though. and joan and peter they have moral like they just followed these girls they followed them down and annie's power is so great that she can even sense when someone is following them guys that's creepy that's a whole whole lot more and hmm, this I, I would just say that they should be careful enough if not this annie would actually try to do something very bad and i wonder why is annie actually trying to get peter for herself i don't just get it love not be by force but guys wait i don't even understand like how would a dead boyfriend be coming after his girlfriend that is still alive like does that even make sense oh my guy you don't die say you don't die not for you to just go and rest have they made covenant have they made covenant with themselves that they'll never leave each other even till death i don't get it because ella's the reason i'm saying this ella's boyfriend is dead Ella is trying to make a new friend. Her boyfriend should understand that. And not always appearing to her and like making it look like she's cheating on him and all those things. Ella's boyfriend is he, is he not dead because I've not seen him more. The few episodes I watched, I've not really seen him. Probably he appeared in the one and two, but for now he's dead. You get so you should understand that Ella is just trying to come out of her shell and make a new friend and all that. So it's really not Ella's fault that she found Solace and Mickey guy. You understand? But unfortunately for her, Mickey does not really like her. But let's see how it goes. And remember that Mickey's mom has Mickey's mom is actually trying to talk Mickey into accepting Ella, like just giving Ella a chance. As in, you listened to their conversation where she told Mickey that he should give Ella a chance. That Ella is um, Ella is all in her feelings. You know when a girl is actually on her own, kind of, and this girl is um, this girl is numb for some reason. She doesn't really come all out like that because of some tragic thing that happened to her or something like that. And then she finds this guy, this fine guy like this that actually sweeps her off her feet or the guy actually helped her come out of her numbness, you understand? Obviously, she's going to fall for the guy. So I think that's actually Ella's situation right now. Ella found Mickey and saw that, um, saw that he can, uh, she can actually deal with him and she, she saw that Mickey is such a nice guy and all those things. So... She's, she's trying to shoot her shot but this one Mickey is saying that he doesn't really like her back I wonder how the whole thing is even going to look like because if I were in Ella's shoes I would be so disappointed in myself because I was actually the one that made the first move so Ella is the one that made the first move here so Ella is going to be so disappointed she's just going to be like ah, if I had known I wouldn't have kissed this guy in the first place and all that so guys please drop a comment on the section below if you were in a last shoe like what do you think what would you do if you realize that 
Mickey or the guy that you're going after does not really like you back, like after the whole thing. So, all right, guys. So, lastly, I have a question for everybody. Like, who would you want to pair Joan with? Who is the best pair for Joan, knowing his character and everything, knowing her character and everything? So, who who would you want to pair Joan with? Would you love to pair Joan with um, Mickey, or would you love to pair Joan with? Peter. So between these two guys, I'm just wondering who it would be. It who it would be Joan with, you know that kind of thing. So guys, I can't wait to see what would happen in the next episode. And I really hope that this woman does not really hurt Peter. I like the woman that now wants to be the overall because she's like anybody can actually be the seer or anybody can can actually perform the role of a seer. You understand? I hope that when she actually finds out that there is a there is someone who is a seer, she will not really be so mad and want to reward the kind guy. So that is just it. And I just hope that Mickey, Peter, and Joanne, the three of them would come together as one. Though Mickey does not have powers. I've not actually seen Mickey exercising any kind of power. So I feel like Mickey does not have powers. Now, in this situation now, can the three of them actually pair? Can the three of them actually come together to deal with Annie and her cartel? And I feel like, you see this Annie's cartel, they must surely scatter. Because Annie is self-centered. Had it been Annie put others into consideration, then I would say, okay, their friendship will last. But you see this sister something, she's just thinking about herself. And she wants everybody to bow down to her. Yes, it's quite obvious that she's the leader of the gang, you understand? But... That doesn't give her the avenue to like hurt other people or actually make uh, everybody bow down to her and all those things guys so for me i want the three of them to come together i want joan um joan mickey including lsf let everybody just combine and deal with that annie because annie's powers are and Annie even has a messenger. You see that black thing that is just moving around, looking for who to devour? Hmm. I just wonder. I really, really wonder what would happen next. And I hope that in the forthcoming episode, nobody will harm Mickey because with the way the last episode ended, I feel like Mickey is in trouble. And for what reason? I don't really know. And thank God that Peter is a seer who foresees like almost he sees a lot of things so he can actually protect everyone so i think that's why the elders are actually looking for a seer because a seer is kind of a person that oversees everything even though he might not really have the power to just snap and fire will come up but at least he would see that if you don't get out for if you don't get out of this place fire will catch you and then he will now look for who has the powers to quench the fire you understand that kind of thing so i feel like a seer is just the best thing the elders need and not that woman that is actually trying to take the throne trying to be like oh more she can actually learn the spell peter doesn't even use a spell have you noticed that every other person uses spell to do their magic like they have to do like this do like this, do something like this before the whole fire stuff will come out but when it comes to peter's um, case he doesn't really need spell this is just something he sees. He might just see a mark on your face and then he just wants to hold your hand and then he starts seeing things. So that's actually the kind of power that the elders need to actually crown somebody a seer. So that is just that. And Joan is so beautiful, guys. You need to follow this series, High School Magic. I think that's, the, that's like the number one trendy stuff so we now have lots of high school series we can follow we have class and class we have high school magical we have um which other one i think these are the two i'm kind of following for now because they are kind of interesting so guys without wasting much of your time thank you guys for watching this video thank you so much for watching this video and guys i'm actually going to do more of reviews on this channel so please drop a comment on the section below what you think would happen in the next episode. If you're right, you're going to get a shout out. Like anyone who predicts what would happen in the next episode, 
And even if it's just one scene, you predict what will happen, you're going to get a shout out, like a shout out. So I'm going to call your name and give you a shout out. Thank you guys for watching this video and please do all to like, comment, subscribe and share my video guys. Bye for now. See you all later.